hi and welcome back to my channel today i'm sharing the process of this flower whimsical girl painting i used watercolors mainly together with watercolor pencils and also some colored pencils i'm working in the arteza journal it's the watercolor journal the a4 size um, it has different uh, kind of textures in it. That means that one side of the paper is textured, the other is smooth. And I found out that watercolors don't work very good on the smooth side. So I am only using the textured pages with watercolor. I was very much inspired by Mindy Lay's field and also by Jane Davenport when I paint all these girls. I made a lot of them recently and I have some of them posted on my Instagram. Um, for the girls I always use reference photos because I am not very good in painting faces or things like that uh, just from my mind. I went to Pinterest and I entered Rococo Girls and there I found a many beautiful whimsical girl photos. The girls have these curly wigs on their heads with a lot of embellishments uh, like flowers or feathers and I really enjoy this and I think it's a very nice inspiration to make a whimsical portrait. You can see that I've changed the proportions of the face because I wanted to have a much more cuter look. So I draw a very small nose and thick lips and I uh, painted the eyes far apart from each other. And I also keep the face very, very round. I'm working with the White Knights watercolors today. I'm pretty happy with this set. I just had to pull out five of the paints because they are very low pigmented and I didn't like that. So I pulled them out and added some other colors from my stash. I have speed up the video so it only takes half of the time that it doesn't become too long. And what I want to say is that you always keep that in mind when you paint yourself, especially with watercolors and you have watched a video before, then you see the artist painting very, very fast. And then when it comes to painting, you also paint very, very fast. And this is not necessary and I think it's also not helpful. So always keep this in mind when you're painting yourself don't hurry too much because that will not calm you down and that will be a, a little bit of stress i think and there's there's no need to even if you're working with watercolors and of course sometimes you have to hurry a little because they dry you can always come back and re-wet an area and then go in for the wet and wet technique so um it's something I noticed for myself when I learned how to paint watercolor flowers that I started painting so fast and then I realized that this is not necessary and that this is also not helpful.
I let everything dry before I come in with other mediums such as pencils and here I'm using a black watercolor pencil and to get that deep black line I'm dipping the nib of the pencil into water. I really like that high contrast the black adds to my face. I am also adding some texture to the background because I think it looks much better when there's something going on instead of being completely white. This is the most favorite part of the painting process when I can come in with my pencils and just add colors here and there and make some details. It's just like coloring in a coloring book and having fun and working out some details I like and that's very re relaxing I think. I'm working with the colored pencils from Arteza and I think this is maybe my favorite product from them. Um, they are really great, I think. I only have the Kohinoa pencils to compare. These are also great, but they come not in these beautiful colors as the Artisas come. Um, so I really enjoy working with them.
In my last step I am always adding highlights and I use a Oniposka marker for that and I add a white dot to the eyes because this makes them look much more realistic and I also highlight the nose and the lips. This was my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope we see us next time. Bye!